Hey there, it's Santere from Trustmary. Today I'm going to show you how to add your Google reviews to your Squarespace website with the help of Trustmary. So to start, navigate to connect platforms here in the nav bar. And in here, you're going to see all the sources you can import from. We are going to select Google. And in here, search by your business name or add a Google Maps URL. If those don't work for some reason, you can click here and connect with OAuth, meaning just sign in with your Google account and it will connect automatically. But I will search right here for our business. And it's found right here. And 51 reviews found. We're just going to click connect. And it starts importing reviews immediately. 10 reviews at first and the rest will follow. It's fetching them right now. In the meantime, we are going to navigate to widgets, the website here on the nav bar. And in here, click the create new widget button. And now we need to select the category. We can select this one, add reviews to website, because that's what we're going to do. And then you can select whichever template you would like. I'm going to use the review widget template for this. Here you can see a small preview and then just click continue. Okay, now we are in the widget editor and in here you can do all sorts of things to customize your widget and its appearance. But we are going to jump straight to the embedding part. So up here on the left, you can see an add to website button. Click that. And on the dark background here, you can see the embed code for this widget. You can copy it here with the button. You only need this one. Don't worry about that one yet. And then we are going to jump to Squarespace. And in Squarespace, we're going to add a block to the site. I'll find embed here. And in the embed, double click it and embed as code snippet. Let's put the data here, meaning the script we just copied. And uh, then we can preview it in safe mode by clicking that. You can see the widget appears immediately. It's looking a bit odd, but that is just because of the preview. And once you are satisfied with the size and location of the widget, we can click save up here. Then just exit the builder and your widget is visible right here. So that's about it. Thank you for watching.